Hello and welcome to Sarah's video on releasing marks on Moodle or eClass if you're at the University of Alberta. Releasing marks for an exam on Moodle is done differently than releasing marks for an assignment. We're going to go over both in this video. So let's start with releasing marks for a quiz or exam first. Uh, you need to, of course, make sure that editing is on. Uh, and we're going to want to go down to the exam. So my exam is in week two, how to release grades. And we're going to go edit and edit settings. Okay, so we're going to scroll down to the review options tab. Uh, and as you can see, there's a couple different columns here. So let's go over them. The first one, during the attempt, if we selected marks for that, that would mean that the students are getting their marks immediately after uh, giving an answer. Um, there's another option, immediately after the attempt, which means the second they hit submit quiz, they're going to have access to their marks. The third column, later, while the quiz is still open, uh, you could select marks here. That would mean that they're done writing the exam and basically from the moment that you click marks here and hit save, uh, they'll be able to view their marks. Now the important thing to remember with later while the quiz is still open, this means that once the quiz is closed, unless you have marks selected in the after the quiz is closed column too, they will no longer be able to see their marks. So typically the only column we're going to worry about is after the quiz is closed. Typically every quiz is going to have a closing date, um, so we're safe to pick this option. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not selecting this until you are 100% certain that your marks are ready to be released to students. Because once I hit save and return to course, the marks will be visible to students in their gradebook. Now, unfortunately, nobody's written this test, so I can't show you an example of what it looks like when the marks are released versus when they aren't. But I will sort of be able to show you that uh, when we get into next releasing grades for assignments, which is what we're going to go into now. So releasing a grade for an assignment is done quite differently than for an exam or a quiz. For this, we actually need to start in the gradebook. So, if you don't see the gradebook on your left hand side, just click on this little pancake stack and it'll expand uh, your dashboard. So you can see grades are right here. We're going to click there. As you can see, nobody's in this course, so nobody's written the exam or done the assignment, but we'll go to setup anyways. So assignment examples. This is my assignment that I want to release the marks. I've marked every student, I'm happy with the marks, I'm happy with the feedback I've provided. So I'm gonna go over here to the Edit tab. Currently you can see it's kind of a gray um, font, but once I go Edit, Show, it's going to change to a green link color. Now, if you wanted to be certain, you can go back into View and you would see all the marks under assignment examples would be black instead of gray now. And that lets you know that the marks are visible to students. Now, of course, if you made a mistake and you really didn't want those marks visible, um, you can just go edit hide again. And hopefully you managed to do that before any of the students were able to see their marks. <laughs> So that's everything for uh, releasing marks. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below in the comments section of this video and I'd be happy to get back to you. Thanks again. Bye.